Boris Johnson. Well, claims. apparently. So, for a moment, can we just remember the fact that Boris Johnson was flying back from holiday in the Caribbean? Why was he on holiday in the Caribbean? He should be at work. He's an MP. You know, the House of Commons is oh, not in recession. Half of the in month. recess, I mean. Well, yes. Um, you know, uh, there's, there's clearly an absolute catastrophe happening in, in British politics, and he's on, on his jollies. Mm -hmm. Unacceptable. Oh, good of, good of him to fly home uh -huh. to uh, basically work out whether he can or can't make a fool of himself a second time around. Ooh. And hopefully, hopefully, he's working out that no, he can't because even his own party don't want him back. Well, you say that, it's got some big backers. Priti Patel came out yesterday, Jacob Rees Mark, and Bruce Belli. There's some big quite, names behind him. They are quite in one particular camp of the party, aren't they? And I, I would imagine that those are the MPs who haven't been talking to their constituents. Uh, lots of other big know, names Marianne. are backing. Uh, so Kemi Badenoch came out to support Rishi Sunak. Um, and the question is, of course, if um, Boris Johnson does not say that he's going to run, then the likelihood is that Rishi Sunak would probably be able to go forward to um, just step just, into yeah. the role. Uh, rather than there being a, a, a vote of, of either MPs or of Conservative Party members. So this, 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 uh, this piece is sort of suggesting that some contingents of the, the Tory party that you might automatically think would back Boris are actually thinking what would best... Uh, what would give us the best chance of party unity mm. so that we're not in such catastrophic states in perhaps a couple of months' time. Do you know what, Julie, really strikes me? You said that... Boris is not tenable. Why aren't people listening to their constituents? Mm. Dennis, morning, Dennis, says, we want Boris back. Nobody is listening to the Red Wall voters. He's clearly in a Red Wall constituency. It's all opinions and nobody is listening. So people, you know... Well, there are some people, of course. You know, you've got, um, you've got polls of um, the public. Uh, I think people were betting on whether Boris Johnson would come back and um, Labrooks or William Hill slashed the odds, obviously, by, by huge amounts. And mm. I think it was uh, the, the poll that I saw recently, I can't remember which paper it was uh, this morning. Um, uh, Two-thirds, there you go. OK, so um, 70... 57% of people who voted for the Conservatives in 2019 believed it was the wrong move to get rid of Mr Johnson in the summer. Mm. Two-thirds of them now believe he can make a political comeback, which is up from 43%. But that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, do you reckon Boris might be able to get back into yeah. politics is a different question. Yeah. Do you think it's good for the country? But, Marianne, I think what we, we do need That's to remember the that it's the, it's the MPs and the ministers that got rid of Boris Johnson six weeks ago. It wasn't the people, didn't go down to, mm. to a public vote. And what we see anyway here in the inbox, and I mean, you just need to take one look at the newspapers. He's the man at the moment. You know, he's making absolute bars, not only in Westminster, but up and down the country. But this isn't a popularity contest. This isn't about narcissism weekly. This is about what is best for the 70-odd no, million people. No, but that, yeah. ar that argument that he has a mandate from the 2019 election, does that not ring true in what we see? I don't think so, because this whole idea that he's got a mandate... No-one in 2019... Yes, he's very charismatic. Yes, he was carrying a campaign in a way that other politicians haven't in, in, in recent memory... But you're not voting for a prime minister, you're voting for your MP. So the idea mm. that one particular MP, uh, prime minister has a mandate from a general election is fundamentally not how British democracy works. Wow. I, I no, I, does, I think he does have that on his side. I think that's one of the few things um, in his favour, so to speak. But, because it's not, ju it's not just about Boris the person, it's about the kind of um, vision he sort of had for the country. And that's why Trussonomics was such a disaster, because it tried to go back... Um, you know, on trying to appeal to the sort of red wall constituencies. But, you know, let's take a step back and think, how have we got here? It, it's testament to the absolute disaster of Truss's premiership, testament to the total disarray of the Conservative Party that we're even considering putting someone back in who was, you know, essentially every minister of his resigned on him only three months ago. Um, mm. You know, was it... Uh, he, had, he had a worse kind of um, more MPs voted no confidence in his leadership than in Theresa May. Uh, so it's not uh, it's not looking good. <laughs>